Welcome back to my channel. Today, uh, we're going to be mounting these brackets that I made for uh, forks. Trust me, this will not bend. Let me show you one of them that I got here. This is made out of the heaviest tube. This is two and a half, a two inch receiver. We'll go in there, which in this case will be a fork. Three eighths plate. What I did, I measured three by two, and I cut these off with a uh, a uh, cut off disc. Surprise! Went to Harbor Freight. Not a paid video. Got the wheels. Not even a minute to cut through this thing. And then I use those to make my gussets. So two pieces of steel to make one receiver for my forks. Now in sheer design, the way I made this thing, uh, I could uh, have the two inch receiver and have a round solid uh, pipe, you know, like a a rod with a point in the end, and I can put three in here and be able to pick up a spear. You know, you know, use a no, pick up a spear. Use a spear to pick up a round bale. I couldn't pick up much. My tractor can only lift a thousand pounds. But I'm going to show you how I'm laying this thing out. And other than the welding part, because I don't want to hurt my camera or my phone, I'm going to show you how I'm doing this. Let me get in here. So you see, I measured the center line. I want these 30 inches on center. Uh, I'm making a uh, man lift basket out of an IBC tote. That will be in another video. So for this one here, I measured roughly about where I want to put it. I want it to come down a little low. It doesn't have to come to the ground. It's not necessary. But I do want it to come down just a little bit. And uh, so that way I can get a little bit lower to the ground instead of being about this far off the ground. So I'm going to grind this thing down up to the line. And uh, we'll get ready to spot the thing in place. Okay. I got it ground. On the edges of the piece I'm going to weld down there. I use the grinder. So I get good, good contact. It's a little warm. So just going to place this thing in place. Should be on my center line. It is. How far down I want it is about there. When you have tools and lay them down. Find my square. And to make sure that this thing is plumb, gotta make sure that. Um, Get a magnet around here someplace. Magnets help to hold things in place, especially when you're dealing with something flat. Because I want to make sure, because uh, I'm going to tack it. And it's just a little bit above this angle here. Okay. Only thing left to do is tack it in place. So let me get my welder going here. 
I'll come back, I'll have it tacked. All right, I got them tacked on, but I only got two tacks on each one. So, or actually I got four on the one, two on the other. What I need to do, I'm gonna go take the bucket off the tractor, and I'll show you how that works. And then I'm gonna lift this heavy bad boy onto the loader of the tractor. Hope you can hear. I gotta lift these things up and a hook and a little knot. Set you off to the side here a little bit, give me some room. So this plate is not exactly light. I mean, they look level, but looks can't be deceiving. So, let me get a level. Got a four foot level here. So, to make sure that they're parallel to this, we're going to set this thing on here. And it is off a tad. The bubble is right on this one line. Let's see, let me show you here. There you go. A little bit more. All right. So, bubble's on this line. And let's see. Well, this I can figure. That's going past, so this one's going to have to go down. Maybe. Let's see. Actually, no. They're both about the same. They're both about the same. Okay. So, well, when, you, when you're building something, I mean, it's hard to do something where it's, uh, you want them both the same, identical. When you're doing custom body work, it's always an issue. You take measurements. I'm sitting there between a tape measure and a, a straight edge to make sure. But being the bubble where it is from the distance on the top of the plate again you measure say like right up here just a fraction of the bubble is over that line put it down here and it's the same 
So I got these two parallel to the top of this, which is parallel to the bottom. So the one thing I wanted to check, how is that locking mechanism coming through the holes? Are they going to interfere with these plates? That's another thing I was worried about. So let's see. I give it about three eighths of an inch. So we're good. So now I can finish welding these brackets to this plate. Well, I got it all welded up. I'm not a certified welder by any means, but um, it's a little smoky in here, but I got them all on, welded all the way around. I think my, some of my rods got some water in them because some of them just didn't seem like they wanted to do anything. Now, um, I'm a big fan, and this is not a sponsored video by any means, uh, I'm a big fan of Krylon paint. Uh, I work at the Lowe's in Paris, Tennessee. I've worked in the paint department, and I've read just about everything that's in there. And uh, this Fusion, I got stainless steel metallic. I think it's kind of cool. It's the same paint that I use to paint my light guards. And you've seen, if uh, you watch that video, you know how good that looked. Now, being this plate is a little on the warm side from all the welding, and that's why it's a little smoky in here. I think this turned out pretty good. Eventually I'll do the back side, but that's not important. But I wanted to show you that I got it all attached and I got uh, the paint on, so at least it won't rust. But uh, I think it turned out pretty good. But anyways, that's it for this video for now. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to be buying some steel so I can build the forks. Um, it's going to be two inch, the heaviest wall of square tubing I can get. So it'll be interesting on how this goes. I'll be getting probably uh, two, four, you say, I'll get about seven foot of it. And um, then this weekend, I'll be making up the forks so I can actually use this. So that's it for this video. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, give me uh, a comment. I love comments. If you haven't already, subscribe and share with your friends. See you next time.